Hi, I'm Ian Knauer, chef here at the Farm Cooking School in Stockton, New Jersey. It is a beautiful summer day, and we are cooking right out of Burpee's kitchen garden. Today, I'm making zucchini. Now, if you've ever grown zucchini at home, you know you've always got too much of it. You're always looking for new ideas. This is Burpee's best zucchini, disease resistant, easy to grow. I can tell you it is busting out of the ground this summer and we haven't even had a lot of rain. Today I'm gonna to make chips from this. I'm gonna slice it really thin. This zucchini has a really dense texture which almost makes it meaty. So it's good for this and good for all sorts of other things. If you're growing your own zucchini, then you're probably making plenty of zucchini bread and ratatouille and grilled zucchini and roasted zucchini and sautéed zucchini. It's, just, it's, it's everywhere, but you probably haven't made zucchini chips. These are fantastic. They are light as air and they stay crisp even when they're not hot. These go as fast as you can make them, so just camp out by the stove, drink the other half of the beer that we're going to use for the batter, and just have a rotation of these chips. First thing we want to do is make our batter. We're gonna use equal parts all-purpose flour and starch. Now, I'm using potato starch, but you can use corn starch. You can use rice flour, too. That starch keeps it really crispy. I have a quarter cup of each. Then a nice big pinch of salt, probably about half a teaspoon of salt. Whisk together our dry ingredients. And then, I'm gonna pour in about three quarters of a cup of beer. Now, this is a tempura batter. You can use it for basically any fried vegetable this way. It stays nice and crispy, and that carbonation of the beer keeps it very light. You could also use seltzer water if you don't want to use beer. Now I need to cut my zucchini into chips, and I want these to be as thin as possible, so I'm going to use a slicer. This guy's pretty big, so to make him a little more manageable, I'm just going to use a piece at a time. Now we just need to dip and fry our zucchini chips. Now this batter is quite thin. That's good, we want it that way. We want it to fall off of that zucchini right there. And then we're gonna go into our hot oil. It's about 350 degrees. And we're gonna fry them until they're golden brown and nice and crispy. As soon as these zucchini chips come out of the hot oil, you want to give them a nice sprinkle of salt. That way the salt sticks to them. And then take them right to the table. There we have it, zucchini chips. So we started with Burpee's Best Hybrid Zucchini, right from the garden. Super crispy. Mmm. Super delicious. And a great way to use up even more zucchini from your garden.